Welcome to Nature Inspired on natureschannel.fm, airing Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Nature has a powerful ability to inspire us. It inspires us to dance, to sing, to write, and to create. From books to businesses, we bring you people from around the world who are doing great things because of, for, and with nature. Nature inspires people to do amazing things, both large and small. Thank you for joining us for today. Now, let's get nature inspired. Hello, everybody. It's Christine Agro here at the Green Festival here in New York City. And I keep saying that I have met the most amazing people this weekend, and I get to share another one of them with you. I'm sitting here with Antonio Salient who is, um, his company is Angel Light Pictures, and he's on the advisory board of the Green Festival. And his work is really um, heavily focused on bringing sustainability to the entertainment industry. And initially I thought, it, you know, I was thinking it was, um, you know, messages and films, and it turns out that it's actually greening the process of making films and so Antonio thank you so much for being here I'm so excited to talk to you about this and find out more about just about what you know the behind thank the you. scenes of yeah. what goes on yes it's uh, it's a difficult process it's just like uh, uh, honestly I, I always people always ask me how do you how would you do a film uh, all green well it hasn't been done yet it's it, it's 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 getting there you know, I think a lot of the celebrities and the directors and the producers and anybody who's on board uh, that have to do with a film or even a television program is actually learning about all this. Now, there are some people like me who get hired to consult and teach and in the process and how, how can you do this. And it's like when you do a building and, uh, and you have a lot of help with the utilities, with incentives uh, uh, on on reducing the load and that's how it all started because I was an energy consultant before I I got hooked into the entertainment business mm -hmm. and that was you know a, a friend of mine told me uh, nothing happens by accident and uh, I just met a whole bunch of people uh, that were good friends of mine that were producers and, and filmmakers and and I decided to use uh, my expertise and unite both. Bring the entertainment business, bring the energy business to the entertainment business and unite them both. Because I thought it would be a great thing to, to help the environment, the world. Because what is the most important thing that we want to do is spread a message, not just in our country, but worldwide, right. global. Right. And what's the best thing to do that? Like, if I'm an audience out in India and I'm watching a film and then all of a sudden I, I, I read in the credits that this film is sustainable, mm -hmm. it sends a message worldwide. Wow. So let's, let's talk about what does it mean to produce a sustainable film? Like, to me? Well, no. I mean, what goes into a film that needs to be addressed to make it sustainable? Okay, we're talking about doing a film now, nowadays. Like, uh, mm -hmm. if you're talking about period of peace... Uh, we're talking in front of the camera. Uh, the clothing that pe the, the actors are wearing, uh, make sure that it came from recycled uh, from from other sets. Right. Um, the foods that they're eating on the set, I know that some of them are not real, but most of the time it is real right. foods. Have the actors uh, drinking something sustainable. You know, mm -hmm. obviously there's a green festival, so there's a whole bunch of brands that you can use right. uh, in that factor. Um, the lighting... You know, nowadays it's uh, energy efficient lighting you can use. You know, a lot of the DPs nowadays do not want to use it because uh, a lot of them think that it changed the the quality uh, of the film, but it really doesn't. Mm -hmm. it, and you just have to know how to combine two type of lighting to oh. get that sauce. And um, the cameras that you're using, you know, on and off the set, you know, and... Uh, it's it's incredible because, um, like, when you're behind the camera, meaning, you know, what happens off, you know, when you're on the set, but, like, catering, the foods, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I always recommend that you should send 
sam- you know, like flyers to the actors because pushing sustainability to certain actors, you know, maybe they don't want to eat sustainable foods, but um, that's their choice. But uh, at least let them know and give them a choice, you know, and have that all catered on the set. And that's very important. And even when you make the set. Right. You know, like the wood you're using, where's Mm -hmm. it coming from? Yeah. Are you chopping down trees? Are you ordering to get recycled wood and use that? There's different paints that you can use as a non-toxic that won't harm the environment. It's just absolutely so many things you could do. So how receptive is the entertainment industry to this? Well, there's two. You have to take uh, a a part into it. There's the studios, okay? The studios are easier to go green than independent producer. But an independent producer has to raise money for a film. Uh, Let's say the budget is $5 million for a film. It costs money to to go green. You have to get consultants, uh, people on staff, PAs have to be uh, qualified uh, uh, in the background of being sustainable and going green to see what to look for, what not to look for. Uh, a studio, uh, their, their plans are, well, this makes sense. And it's about helping the world and the community too. I mean, if you look at Disney... And they're very much sustainable. Everybody's going to look at them. Well, you know, it's a family uh, uh, studio when they make films. And, um, wow, people get amazed that they're able to do this. But it's easier for them to to fund it because they get a lot of incentives to mm-hmm. do it, uh, be in a studio. Like I said, uh, utilities uh, sometimes help in, in incentives if you do this, if you go green. They might give you a certain percentage uh, back. A rebate program may happen a long time ago. When I used to work, work for Con Edison, we had a rebate program where uh, they gave a dollar for each KW reduce. Mm-hmm. So that's how they did it. But the reasoning behind that was more uh, not to build another power plant. Let's reduce the load. Right. The word mm-hmm. sustainability came out when Al Gore did his film. You know, then everything started to change towards right. that direction. <clears throat> yeah. But to me, uh, to me, sustainability, uh, I believe, is energy conservation. So, you know, for a lot of people, you know, the dollar is the bottom line. So, sure. Obviously, there's a savings in electricity. Is there, if if um, even an inter- independent producer, you know, they might not think about sustainability, but is there a benefit, like a, in addition to supporting the environment, is there a benefit on that financial oh, sure, side? Sure, because uh, I, I believe is where, when you do, a, I always tell people that when, a director, when you do a film or the production company, always check on where they're filming. Like if I'm doing a film in the state of New Jersey and it's called The Golden, Knight, the Golden Knights. It's about a football team and I speak to people in the government there mm-hmm. and what I want to do is do this film 100% sustainable because I think it benefits the state of New Jersey uh, okay. to find that out and I think that maybe down the road when I am doing the film they'll give me a lot of publicity mm-hmm. that's number one right. so that everybody's aware of what I'm doing and and the reason why I'm doing it and then two people will do the same thing and maybe they'll give me an incentive mm-hmm to do this right. maybe they'll give me 10 percent five percent or whatever it is it doesn't matter but yeah. the whole point is um i'm not really doing it to get money i'm doing it because i want to save the world save the right. environment spread a message right. worldwide and and hope that if i could do it so can you mm-hmm. and because i think i mean the reason i brought up the fi- the financial aspect of it is because i think people who aren't maybe so environmentally aware or environmentally conscious um they want to do it the easiest way right they want to just they just want to do it and i'm sure producing a film is never easy (laughs) like like let's take that off the table so it's not it's not saying that it's easy but they want to they want to do it in a way that um you know where there isn't a lot of blocks and and challenges and I think sometimes when people think about sustainability, they think, oh, it's going to take me so long to X, Y, Z, whatever it is, because they're, you know, I don't know. Of course, just- Steven Spielberg, 
Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. You think their minds are set? Oh, I want to make this film sustainable. I just right. want to direct. Right. Uh, you know, their 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 job is to direct. But um, uh, the directors nowadays, uh, in their mindset, that's why I said when I did a speech in Syracuse, it, the reason behind it is because they want to teach the uh, the students when they're graduating that this is important. So uh, you can, you're going to become a journalist. You're going to become an engineer. You're going to become a director, a future screenwriter. Uh, have this in mind. Uh, a screenwriter, when he writes a script, he has it in mind. Right. So he's writing while he's being creative. Uh, and if you have being sustainable in your mind, thinking this, uh, I think it'll make it easier, the process easier mm -hmm. when it comes to time of production. Yeah. All this is done during development. Right. Uh, you know, you got development and pre-production, then production of the film when it's actually when when you're actually filming, mm -hmm. and then post-production. It's so interesting to me, uh, you know, especially having been here all weekend, um, talking to so many people about all the different areas where we can make a difference, right? I mean, it's like. It's phenomenal. So, sure. It is so amazing to think that, you know, from the grass that we grow to the way that we, uh, you know, produce a movie, that everything that we do has a place where it can become uh, supportive to the environment rather than destructive to the environment. And I just find it fascinating that I think as a whole we're so... Um, I don't know, either we're running through our days too fast or we're just so unconscious or so inundated that we, we I, and I think it's going to require a, a change in mindset, which is sure. what you're well, talking you have, about. You have an artist like Leonardo DiCaprio who goes around the world uh, doing speeches, which is great, fantastic. Mm -hmm. He's a wonderful gentleman and uh, his heart is in the right place and he wants to do great. But then the other side of the coin is right, right in his backyard you know, Sony Pictures, not to take away from Sony, because Sony Pictures does a lot of wonderful things when it comes to sustainable. But, you know, when they filmed James Bond's the Spectre, the, uh, the film that recently came out, right. um, they did a whole uh, uh, explosion scene in Monaco. And uh, they got the award for the, uh, the, the, the largest explosion ever done in the history of cinema. And you see, this is the thing. If you were to see that clip, it's it's this dark uh, cloud of smoke. Oh, yeah. Um, what happened to being sustainable? Right. See, this is the case where uh, sustainable was uh, second and getting the award was first. Mm -hmm. But nobody thought about, hey, look at this black, you know, black smoke right. pollution. They didn't think of that. You know, and that, that was sad when I saw that. Uh, you know, you can't blame uh, uh, the artists that, that go around the world speaking on behalf of what they're trying to do uh, and change the world. And then on the other side of the coin, you have certain production companies that uh, still are not 100%. Right. I understand it, but J.J. Ambrose on Star Wars, uh, when you see all those explosions, then they're, they're visual effects. Wow. That's and amazing. you could do all this yeah. in computers, but, you know, we're not there yet. Right. And I know? suppose it depends on And it go, I think that sort of goes back to what I was just saying about that, um, you know, whether it's the programming that we have or it's just that unconscious awareness that we have to, um, to these pieces that, you know, it's like the desire is, well, I want it to be... I want it to look real or I want it so they do this big explosion rather than right. having that thought of like, well, you know, we can do this a different way. And, and yes, I just I it's and um, that's what that's what bothered me a yeah. little bit. You know, yeah. I mean, look, digital film uh, filming is now out and that's sustainable. Mm -hmm. But yet, like I'm talking about J.J. Ambrose now, who who, yes, believes in sustainability and is a great guy, but he wanted to do it in film. He wanted to do Star Wars in film and not, not do it on digital right you see so this uh, right right <laughs> so i look at it is in the old days of filmmaking film was better came out better and it, it, it perceives uh, to the audience uh, a bit better hmm. and i think a lot of the filmmakers continue and want to use film and it's more expensive right to right. use film you know if you watch project Greenlight uh this past season 
the filmmaker that won wanted to use film and they would try to talk him out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, Matt Damon, Ben right, Affleck, right. you know. But they, you know, he's the director, so they, you know, let him do, do it his way. And, yeah. yeah. But you see, if it was me, I would have... Yeah. You know, but you know, I mean, because I, I just—it's really, you know, you're really sparking these, you know, pieces in my mind because, um, you know, this exists in every area where we talk about sustainability and environmentalism, and you know, I think about um, people who get upset about like Cecil the lion but eat meat, right? It's like we don't have this this connection in our brain that says, well, if I'm upset that this wild animal was killed in this way, yet I'm not focusing on the fact that what I'm doing in my own life is having, you know, has has really a, a, a same kind of impact on, on a creature. And sure. so, you know, and then we, you're talking about, um, you know, in the film industry, which is is really an area I never even thought about. Well, that's why they hire animal handlers. Mm -hmm. uh, they handle the animals. And uh, also, you know... Well, I d yeah, no, I don't mean about animal cruelty in, in films. I'm saying, you know, when... In general. When, so Cecil the lion was the lion that the dentist went to oh, Africa. And, yes. and people were just, you know, really upset about it. And rightfully so. Yet at the same time, you know, the same people don't think where is where is my meat coming from how is this animal treated you know so there's this gap in sure. our you know we can uh, we can see it in some places but we don't see it in another place but that's why that word sustainability um like there are people that have honestly followed me. my my friends own a steakhouse in new york uh, the empire steakhouse and they're number one mm -hmm. in new york city now i don't eat meat because right. there are other things in there that are sustainable. You don't have to eat meat. Yeah. But people have seen me in a restaurant of, you know, in a steakhouse. And I go, Antonio, I thought you were sustainable. Right. <laughs> and you got to be careful because sustainable could be different things. You could be sustainable in energy. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you could be sustainable in foods and whatever. Or you could be across the board sustainable. Right. You know, and that's why I said, you know, uh, now, I don't know if Leonardo DiCaprio eats a steak. I have no idea. But I'm just saying that if they were to see him eat a steak, uh, it would be in the front page, you know. And they say, well, I thought this gentleman, yes. this actor, right. uh, who talks around the environment uh, is sustainable. Mm -hmm. Right. You see, so. Well, and that's what I'm saying. There are, you know, there are these degrees right. that we have. And I think it's part of human nature. And it's part of our our evolution in our own process that we take these steps and for me it's just always fascinating when I take like I, I go like oh right so we've got this over here which also has a whole piece that needs to be addressed you know sure. so it's like I I don't do this I don't do that oh yes and now there's this right so because I mean you can have people who are um, you know so environmentally conscious but they're not conscious in other aspects of their life. No. Right? They can Absolutely. be completely... Well, that's why know. when I walk on a, on a set and I see plastic bottles all over the place, and I, and I start to think, what's going on? Yeah. You know, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to mention the show that I was, that was on a set with, but uh, during catering, I had a paper plate. <laughs> right? Okay. So I went back for seconds, okay, and... And the caterer said to me, um, oh, no, no, I'll give you a new plate. I said, no, no, I want to use the same plate. There's nothing wrong with me using this one. And he kept on and on and get, gave me a new plate. Mm -hmm. So, see, his mindset is not right. already, you know, it's like wasting. Yes. You're wasting paper here. Yeah. So uh, he doesn't get it. So I find it interesting you had mentioned that, uh, you know, you go and you speak to the colleges. Um, yes. Do you speak to to the high schools? Do you have you gotten into that? I haven't spoken to uh, the high schools yet, which yeah. I find very interesting because it should go even lower. Mm -hmm. It should, yeah. I, I was just you I know? was going to go down the line with you, but yes, yeah. Uh, well, this is what I'm hoping for because this film that I'm doing, The Golden Knights, is about a high school football team, mm -hmm. and because the publicity I ask, I'm hoping for is not much because of what it's about, but also because it's sustainable and because our New Jersey uh, governor Christie uh, ended the tax credit for film and television 
uh, back in 2011. He just vetoed it early in January and February, which uh, is not a good thing for filmmakers that want to film in the state of in New the Jersey. In the state of New Jersey, right. So, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. You raise the money and I just do it, mm-hmm. you know, and hope that, you know, it changes along you know, later on. But I just want to do the film because it's, 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 a, it's about a, a great football team. And honestly, I, it's going to be the first 100% sustainable film. Oh, that's great. From head to toe. Yeah. I kid you. I have people already in place that I spoke to, companies that uh, will be there. Because, you know, I'm going to be directing and, and I'm going to have a lot of great people on board. So I'm going to be focused on that, mm-hmm. being creative and directing. But I'm going to make sure I have the right people in place. And if I see anything out in the ordinary, believe me, yeah. I will say something. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, it's development, pre-production, so all that will be taken care of in the very beginning before we even head into production. Right. So it's like there should be no issues. Great. Period. So if people want to find out more about about the Golden Knights, how will they find out about Well, you it? could go directly to my uh, website, which is uh, angellightgroup.com. Okay. Uh, spelled out the same way, angellightgroup.com, or a film festival that I'm starting, and hopefully I, I, by next year or 2018, I'm trying to get sponsors. It's called Planet Green Fest. Okay. So it's planetgreenfest.org. If you go on that, you'll see what I'm talking about. I want to do these short films, and in order to submit your films, they have to be 100% sustainable films. Wow, great. And I'm, I'm hoping to send a message worldwide. This is a global uh, announcement for me. I got the idea from John Paulson, who's uh, uh, he's a producer for Elementary on mm-hmm. CBS, mm-hmm. a co-producer. And he started Trop Fest, which he does short films, but they're not sustainable. Right. But I, I, I took his brand and I said, let's add this. Mm-hmm. And his, his is global. He goes... Uh, worldwide. That's a great idea. It's so a really great I'm idea. I'm hoping that that becomes very successful. Yeah. And well, and because in doing that, you are you're you're teaching, you're teaching and you're educating people that this is something to strive to, for. Well, I love the action of words. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, but I love the actions of doing right. better. <laughs> right. Okay. Absolutely. So that's my quote. <laughs> yeah. All Let's right. leave it like that. You could talk all you want. You could go like I love doing these speeches and and presentations and being interviewed. Uh, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm pretty sure loves doing them. Robert Redford also. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I look up to these people because they have a heart, but. I think in the other side of the coin, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enough talk, do it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. You're going to be speaking in a little bit here. At 3.30, I'll be speaking at the green stage in the back. So anybody's welcome to hear my 30-minute speech and uh, I'll learn a little bit what we just spoke about today. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for spending the time with me. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you for inviting me. Thank Pleasure. You. Thank you for listening to Nature Inspired here on Nature's Channel.fm. Nature has a powerful ability to inspire us. It inspires us to dance, to sing, to write, and to create. From books to businesses, every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, we bring you people from around the world who are doing great things because of, for, and with nature. Nature inspires people to do amazing things, both large and small. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, be nature-inspired.